Hi guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and today we are going to have a look on Rovers, a floating launcher for your Android. Now this is not yet another app launcher in which you can simply launch the apps that are installed on your phone, but uh, you can add shortcuts or even actions to it. So let's have a detailed look on it right away. Now once you install the app, just open it up and tap on the activate or the deactivate buttons to turn it off or on. Now once you tap on it, you will see the list of icons that are present uh, that you can work on. So uh, let's get started and add some apps to it. So just tap on the plus icon and here you will see apps shortcuts actions or folder now we'll have it look at actions and shortcuts in just a while but once you tap on app it will give you the list of all the applications you have installed on your device now let's suppose you want to add your chrome browser to the list now tap on it and click add so that was how we just added an app to our launcher now the interesting part about this particular launcher is the option to add actions and shortcuts now when I say actions the actions can be like turning your Wi-Fi on or off your Bluetooth or even your flashlight now we have some apps like uh, show the home screen search recent apps and there are additional applications that you can install so like battery level direct calling of contact and the flashlight <coughs> now uh, let's suppose you want to add uh, a way to automatically toggle your Wi-Fi on or off once you tap on the icon on rover now as you can see my Wi-Fi is turned on I'm just going to tap on the rover hit the Wi-Fi button and it turns off my Wi-Fi now to turn it back on I just need to tap the icon one more time and I would be connected now as I mentioned that uh, this app works on any other app that you're working on so I have my ES file explorer launcher over here I'm just going to tap on it and select the home button to go to my home screen. So on in the setting there is uh, pretty much nothing to be configured about. But if you see uh, the extensions, there are some in-app purchases that you can perform like uh, a complete package, uh, some additional settings and colors that can be added to the folders. Now talking about folders, let's see the shortcuts and the folders that you can add so in shortcuts we have uh, the, the widget shortcuts uh, that we have on your Android but you can add uh, like a contact to the rover directly so uh, let's just add uh, mm, let's just search for Abhijit okay it, it, I don't know how I name so the GT support but yeah just let uh, just let's add him and uh, here you go so once you tap on it uh, you can uh, see its contact on the screen itself now the last thing is the uh, option to add folders now one folder is added by default so uh, once you tap on it you can add additional icons to it now the free version limits uh, the icons and the actions to just around 10 but you can purchase the app for the full version and get all the limitations removed from it so that was pretty much everything about the Rover Launcher. I'm sure you'll like it, and if you really liked uh, the video, don't press to uh, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. We would love to see your comments in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead. Bye, guys.